Okay, guys, this is uh, Photo Bucket's homepage. It's www.photobucket.com. Real easy. Um, what you'll have to do here once you get to this page, if you have an existing Photo Bucket account, you're going to go. You want to going to go ahead and log in. If you don't have an account, you use this button here on the right hand side at the top that says sign up. Okay, you'll go through the registration process. They will give you a confirmation email that you'll have to click on and verify your account, and then you can continue on with Photo Bucket and upload your pictures. All right, I already have an existing account, so I'm going to sign in real quick. That was caps. And this computer's kind of slow, guys. I can't do it on mine. My screen's too big. I can't make it look decent. All right, now once you get your account set up and you log in, if you're a brand new account, you won't have any of these pictures down here or anything like that um, because it's a brand new account. So what you'll do is you'll go to this big blue bar in the middle here where it says albums. If you hold your mouse over that, that brings up the sub menu right here. You'll click on all albums. Once this window loads, you're going to pick an album that you want to upload to. If you don't have any albums, you're going to want to go right here and cre click on Create New Album. Okay, we'll create a new album here. And the top line is your title for the album. I'm just going to name it 50 for whatever. Um, below that, you have a description field that you can enter a brief description about your album if you want to. I don't ever do that. And then down here in the middle, there's some pretty important stuff here. Your album, your album privacy settings. Okay, anything that you're going to want to upload to a forum, you're going to want to leave public. Okay, and this once you, when you paste the links in the forum, it will link back to Photo Bucket, and then Photo Bucket will present the image in place of the link once it's posted. If you set it to private or password protected, when you post that link, it won't show up in the forum. It'll give you an error. Okay, so you want to leave it public for anything that you're going to want to share on the forums. And then down here at the bottom, there's a blue button that says Create Album. Click on that, and boom, you have a brand new, freshly created album, okay? Now, obviously, this album is empty because you don't have any pictures on it yet. So this green arrow right here where it says Upload Photos and Videos is where you want to go. So we'll click on that one time, and that's going to bring you to this screen right here. Now, in this screen, there's a big green button here that says select photos and videos. You only want to use this big green button if you're going to upload one picture. I don't ever upload just one picture. I, I upload 20 plus. Okay. But if you're going to use one picture, click on this green button. That'll open up your computer files. You select the folder that you're going to upload from, double click the picture, and it'll upload it for you. If you're going to be uploading any more than one picture, you want to go down here where this little blue button right here that says bulk uploader so we're going to click on that one time this is probably going to take a minute to load because this computer's older than dirt um, and you're going to need java is a background program that many 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 websites operate off of you're going to need to make sure that your java is up to date okay so if you get any kind of a prompt or an error for a java update you're going to want to go ahead and update your java it's a free program, it, and it literally, there's thousands of websites that use it. Now, this is going to take a minute to load, probably, so we're just going to sit here and wait. And just in case anybody was wondering, this is my ninth attempt at making this because Photo Bucket keeps crashing. Um, I emailed them about it. I haven't gotten a response. So what we're going to do now is, you can see everything over here that loaded this pulled up my My Pictures folder. What you want to do is you want to go over here to the left, <clears throat> where it says number one right here in the top, and it says choose a folder. So I'm going to go to my computer, and I'm going to select my camera card. Okay, and that's going to bring up these pictures right here. All right, now these pictures are the pictures that I want to upload. Um, these, this is just a sample. They're probably already uploaded somewhere. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click each one individually. Okay, now all four of these pictures have been selected. They turned yellow. All right, and then when we scroll down a little bit, right here where it says number three, you can add a title to each picture if you want to. I don't ever do that either. Um, and you'll see 
all four of the pictures down here that I've selected. If you select more pictures up here, it will put all every picture that you select down here in a line. Okay, now forum picture sizes are very important. You have to resize your pictures. This bulk uploader does everything for you in one shot so you don't have to manually resize. And more importantly, you don't have to mess with your camera. Okay, I take massively huge pictures and it doesn't matter because PhotoBucket's going to automatically up, uh, resize them to 800 by 600 format for me. Now to do that, this little blue button right here that says more options. We're going to click on that. That's going to bring up this screen right here. Okay. If you have a pro photo bucket account, you can pick all these ginormous picture sizes that you don't ever need. So we want to make sure that the 15 inch screen, which is the 800 by 600, we want to make sure that's the one checked. Okay. Once you do that, you hit save down here. Okay. And then on the right hand side of the screen, you've got this big blue button right here that says upload. I'm going to click that one time. And now it's going to start uploading these pictures for me to this album that I've selected. Okay, now as it's uploading them, here's the cool part, it's already resizing them for you. We've already set the screen size to 800 by 600. So they're automatically formatted for an 800 by 600 image. Once it's done uploading, it automatically brings you back to that album. Okay. It'll, it'll give you a confirmation right there, that big green check mark that says 404 of... 404 images have been uploaded okay so now we can scroll down okay now usually you're going to want to post all these pictures at the same time if you don't want to post them if you just want to pick one of them just hover your mouse over it okay and that's going to bring up this little pop-up i don't click anything just hover okay now the very last one down here at the bottom it says img code this image code if you click this one time it'll say that it's copied for you Okay, now what you would do is you would go to the forum and then paste that link into your forum post. It's going to show up as text in your post, but once you post it to the forum, the image is automatically going to be forwarded from PhotoBucket, so your picture will show up. Now, I want to post all four of these pictures, okay, and I don't want to sit there and copy this one, go over to the forum and paste it, come back here, copy this one, go over to the forum and paste it, screw all that. So we're going to go all the way down here to the bottom. Okay. Right here there's a select all, unselect all button. Okay. So I want to select them all. And then right next to it there's a blue button that says choose action. You click that one time. That brings up this drop down menu right here. So we choose action. And right here at the bottom it says generate link codes for selected. We're going to click that one time. That's going to pop up this big window. Okay. Now the one that you want to copy is this first one right here is HTML for websites and blogs, blah, blah, blah. You're not going to use that on any forum. This middle one, this IMG, that's image for bulletin boards and forums, this is the one you want. You don't ever want to post thumbnails. That's the quickest way to make people angry and not look at your posts. Don't ever post thumbnails, post full-size pictures. So right below clickable thumbnails is full-size. So we're going to click this one time. It automatically copies it for you. Okay, now that's automatically copied. All right, so we can close that window now. I'm going to go over to the forum here. And we will look for... forum there we go there's the forum hi Zeus uh, let's see here all right I'm gonna log in here log in I'm going to go to the home. I'm going to actually uh, go to general discussion. How to post pictures. Okay. Now when I go down here and I hit 
when I hit reply, we all know how to use the forum. Okay, if I paste those links, you see all this text now. Once I put this text in this in this text box here, I can hit the preview button right here, and it's going to fetch my preview, and it's going to show you, ta-da, all those pictures I just uploaded, back to back to back to back. Okay. Once I'm satisfied with that, then. I can add whatever text I want to add here. This is the test for, whoa, getting a little crazy here. I'm trying to type around the camera. For the photo bucket uploader tutorial. preview that post and then once I scroll back up here it's got my text that I entered right there alright so once all this is done you go down to the bottom here you click post and it posts all your information okay that's how this works that's how you upload pictures to the forum if you have any questions you can message me or you can post it in the uh, in the actual thread we're gonna make this a sticky so everybody can learn um, and like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Okay, guys? We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.